Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Happy lunch break. Are y'all <laughs> um, hoping you have a great lunch um, right now? And thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Mahal Mingus. Um, my nickname is Love. If you can't say Mahal, just call me Love. Okay. Um, but anyway, I am a homeschooling mom. I am an autism mom. I'm a physical therapist and an essential oil educator. I love, I love, love, love sharing um, the wisdom of essential oils. And I get excited when people get excited about essential oils. So um, we have used it in our family. We use it every day throughout the day. And um, we do believe that if you, you know, don't use essential oils, you are missing out big time. So this is this is why I'm doing this boot camp. Hi Kim, hi Brett, how are y'all doing? Thank you for joining me. I gotta message you uh, <laughs> later, I just, I just read your message. So anyway, um, thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> and this morning we talked, oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, just, just a little things. First of all, um, you know, as I, I always request and invite you to like this broadcast. This is our video number four. Yeah, day two, video number four. So um, please like this broadcast, comment. Um, you can comment, you know, um, the things that you have learned. What are the things that you liked in this, um, in this broadcast? Or you can tag five friends. Tag five friends that you want to bless with the knowledge of these oils. And please, 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 it's never too late to invite friends to this event. This is a free essential oil boot camp. I want to bless and minister to you and to your friends and to your family. And they cannot see this videos um, if you are not inviting them here. So it is a private event. So you have to, um, you have to add them yourself. And by doing that, you go to the event page, you click invite, and there you can, um, you know, don't take but 30 seconds to tag or to um to invite as many friends as you can okay so if you can do that um i would highly highly appreciate it all right so <clears throat> Um, also, please stick with me to the end. I'm going to reveal another prize that I'm going to put in the gift basket that we're going to raffle um, at the end of the week. So every time you like, you comment, um, I am putting your name. So if you commented like 10 times today, I'm going to I'm going to put your name 10 times in that basket. So um, uh, please do that. Um, you know, stick with me to the end because I'm going to reveal, you know, what that prize will be. And then... Um, also, this Saturday, if you're here in the, in, in the area, I am um, in East Texas at Lufkin. Uh, we are, um, you know, our, our cross lines, Young Living cross lines and, and, and down lines and, and, and fellow oilers are going to gather this Saturday. We call it the YL or the Young Living um, Passion Rally. And this is kind of like a mini convention where you get to learn about Young Living, about the farms, about new products that they have. It is amazing. If you love oils, you're going to love, you know, this rally. It's going to be here in our shop. So you get to meet me and you get to sit down and visit with, you know, with, with some crazy oilers <laughs> in our group and, and, and cross lines. And, um, you know, you get to visit my classroom <laughs> you know, where I do this. So um, please invite. It's a free event. I'm going to, if I don't forget, I'm going to add a link um, after this broadcast so that you can get your tickets there. You need to get a ticket so that we can kind of figure out how many are coming okay um, so please do that even if you're not a member yet you can come and check us out um, tell them that you know I invited you you know when you get in the door tell them that you know I invited you that Mahal Mingus invited you and I would love 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 to have you this is from 5 to 8 o'clock in the in the evening from 2 to 5, I'm going to be here for 3 hours um, doing Zyto scans and also, um, um, you know, just, just visiting with me or if you want to know more about the oils, I am here from 2 to 5 until, you know, we start the rally. So, you know, um, 
if you want to visit with me and, and do a scan or just talk about the oils, that would be a great time, you know, to do that. All right, on we go. So day two, day two of boot camp. This is amazing because this morning, if you're able to to listen or, you know, whether live or going back to the to the video this morning, um, it is so amazing. It's, it's so amazing to know how these essential oils work in the plants, okay? We know that they work toward balance and homeostasis to where every cell, every um, organ and every system in our body would work just as it should. That's what they do to plants. They would do the same thing to us. Um, they are, they can act as, you know, they're the lifeblood of the plant. So they circulate through the plant in the same way. They would circulate through our body. They would pass easily between our cell membranes and they bring in good stuff to our cell and then take out bad stuff to um, outside of our cell and that's why essential oils can act as powerful detoxifiers we put two drops of um, lemon essential oil in this yucky toxic styrofoam and and it ate uh, it pretty much ate it up okay so that's how powerful they are as cleansers and detoxifiers at a cellular level just amazing and then another thing is that they can um they can actually you know protect the plant from from um sunlight and heat where they can change the 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 um the frequency of the sunlight to where um it would um not be as as damaging or it won't scorch them or, or dry them so um, another cool thing and it can also opposite of that it can also act as a solar amplifier and this is true with the citrus fruits where you would see the essential oils in the rind of the fruit so that it would attract and amplify you know sunlight so that it would ripen faster and it would maximize the sugar content so that that fruit would be you know really nice and juicy and sweet so hi miss julie good afternoon um thank you for joining and so so that's what we talked about if you haven't listened to that go back to video find video number three and that's um that's what we discussed this morning that was really fun and i love how you know the, the morning the morning ladies joined me today um this morning all right so let's continue on and <clears throat> Essential oils, essential oils protect the plants. So that's the next one, is that the ability of the essential oils to protect the plants. And how do they do that? In three ways. So number one, they can protect the plant from, from pesky pests and insects and bugs, okay, and other animals. Um, number two, they can protect the plant from other plants. And we're going to discuss this, you know, in a little bit. And number three, they can communicate with insects to protect them from other animals, from other pests and, you know, and bugs. So um, they can actually, you know, send a scent to communicate to animals to beg for help to protect them from the other animals. Ain't that cool? So we're going to kind of look into that <clears throat> and see how that works. Um, so essential oils protect the plants in many, many ways. Essential oils have the ability, or plants have the ability to produce an essential oil that can provide like a yucky taste to the animals or to the, to the pest or a pungent, pungent smell to the plants so that they can protect themselves to be eaten or to be damaged. Um, so take, for example, um, the marigold flowers, the marigold. They're beautiful, right? If you've seen a marigold flower, they're so beautiful and they're such a pleasure to see. But, you know, not really to smell. They have this really kind of, you know, strong um, scent to it. And organic gardeners actually use marigold to... Um, plant, you know, rows of marigold around their vegetable garden. And uh, what that does is marigold has the ability to produce an essential oil that would make this very, very unpleasant odor. And it saves them from being eaten by, well, by just about everything. It protects them from insects, from bugs, from rabbits, from gophers, from birds and from humans. <laughs> um, they, and they produce an essential oil that is rich in, um, in a compound called tagetone, T-A-G-E-T-O-N-E. 
that makes that really, really pungent smell. And so when you encircle your garden, you know, with the, this beautiful marigold, you know, um, flowers, then, you know, you are creating like a protective barrier, um, which rodents won't cross and insects will just try to avoid. And if you're, or I'm, I'm not a gardener by any chance, and I don't know anything about, you know, about gardening, but this type of companion planting, they call it, is a practical application of aromatherapy of essential oils that organic gardeners use. So I have a, a picture here, and this is kind of like a watermelon patch, and you can see that this, um, the gardener has surrounded this whole uh, watermelon patch with marigolds so that to protect them from, you know, rabbits, rodents, um, squirrels, and all the bugs and pests, you know, that, that would want to go in there. Ain't that cool how um, plants can do that? Another way, so, so um, another way that essential oils can protect itself is by protecting it from other plants. Okay, so you're like, hmm, what does that mean? Um, a good example of this are the desert, the plants and the bushes in the desert. And what they do, these plants in the desert has the ability to produce an essential oil that would go all the way through their root system and for a certain diameter around themselves, okay? That would prevent germination of any of the seeds. Wow, that's pretty interesting, huh? Why is this? This is to protect themselves by preventing plants from growing too close to them. Because remember in the desert, the, the nutrition and the nourishment is very, very, um, is very, very uh, limited. So this is a way of protecting themselves, is to, um, to exude that essential oil through the root system so that there's no, you know, no other plants, you know, would grow. And so um, if plants in the desert are too close to each other, they will compete with the water supply and the nourishment and then will just eventually die. So if you can see, you know, right here, this desert plants, they're pretty much very well spaced out. Well, thanks to the essential oils that they produce because they can sort of communicate with other plants and say, hello, this is my space right here. Man, I have to find out what kind of essential oil I can use where I can say, all right, leave me alone. This is my space right here. You gotta give me some hearts for that. <laughs> um, if I find out a good oil that would do that, you know, like here in the classroom sometimes, there's times I just wanna say, kids, you know, like this is my space, leave me alone right now. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. Um, another way that um, the essential oils can protect the plant is by protecting themselves from nature or extremes in weather. Um, during really, really warm, hot weather where there is a chance for, you know, forest fires. These trees in the forest has the ability to produce an essential oil that would actually um, um, sort of moisturize the ground, you know, surrounding the roots of that tree. And what that does, and what that does is in case there's a fire, then it would sort of preserve and protect the roots. And even if like the, the branches and the leaves and whatever will be burned, then they're hoping that, you know, with the, with a, um, with a, with a surrounding, with a, with a ground, you know, where the roots are, that if it's moisturized, um, then it may not burn, and that's their way to preserve their life. So that's another way that um, plants can protect, or essential oils protect the plants from extremes of weather. Another way that plants protect themselves is by communicating with insects to get rid of pests that damage the plants. So they can actually kind of, you know, ally with another insect so that that insect would protect them from other bugs. Wow, that is interesting, ain't it? So <clears throat> take for example, the tomato and the tobacco plants, okay? Tomato and tobacco plants are usually attacked by hornworms, and there's like a, a yucky, ugh, 
like the <laughs> there's a big picture of it but this is a hornworm and um, they're called tobacco and tomato hornworms because they love eating the leaves on the fruits of the tomatoes and the tobacco the leaves of the tobacco so when attacked when attacked by this hornworms these plants have the ability to produce an essential oil that would emit this fragrance that is so appealing and that is so attractive to a specific type of wasp, okay? And that would love to eat these hornworms. So when that particular smell travel for miles and miles in the wind, the wasps would just fly upwind, you know, and, and follow that scent until they find the plant to, um, to eat those you know those worms that they like so much now it's so interesting because this this smell that or the 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 smell or the fragrance of this essential oil that they send to the wasps these are not really that appealing to other bugs but these wasps you know are just so attracted to it they just can't stand it they have to follow that ain't that cool how god gives the wisdom and the intelligence and the plants and then the essential oils that they produce to help protect them and take care of them oh my goodness that is so cool and that's the same thing for us if we use these oils they can you know have they have the ability you know to protect us in just amazing amazing ways <clears throat> all right so so that right there that is the the wasp you know like feasting on this really juicy hornworm <clears throat> so so in summary you know how the the essential oils protect the plants they can you know produce they have the ability to produce an essential oil that would be pungent and smelly and kind of you know you know bad tasting to other insects and pests and that's you know their way of um, so, so that they won't be eaten you know by by these by these animals. They can communicate with plants to kind of have their own space so that they won't compete with water and nutrition, and that way they can survive. And this is true with the desert plants that um, we discussed earlier. They can also communicate with other insects to protect them from other pests and other and other bugs. So those are just some of the amazing ways that the plants can, you know, the plants um, use essential oils to protect themselves. So um, another way is um, that the plant, that the essential oils protect or, you know, um, help the plants is by healing and repair. So for example, if I would go outside and, you know, like break a branch of, you know, a bush or a tree, you would see like this liquid sap, you know, kind of flowing into that area. And that's the plant, you know, sending in the essential oils to number one, you know, to start the repair process and number two, to protect the plant from further damage. And so, um, you know, for, for, you know, again, we talk about, you know, that the, they are very, very experienced helpers and repairers and, and balancers of, of, of the vital functions in the plants. And so the same way when we apply these oils into our body, you know, they would do the same thing. Remember, they are very, very, very experienced in this. They have done this to the plants many, 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 many times. So if we harvest them and distill them the right way and preserve those amazing compounds, um, just as nature intended these essential oils to be, then they can be very, very, very beneficial to our body. And so, <clears throat> Um, ain't God's oils awesome, you guys? God's oils are so awesome. So I want to leave you. I want to leave you with this. Um, I I read a scripture. Yes, uh, this Monday, I read a scripture this morning about you know the plants as for for healing. Okay, so um, this is from Revelation twenty two verse two, and it says. Um, on each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. No longer, oh, and the leaves of the tree 
are for the healing of the nations. This is very, this is very, very similar to what we learned this morning. Hi, Alvin. How are you? Woohoo! Thank you for joining. Um, this is very similar to what we learned or to what we read earlier in Ezekiel. And um, I just want to leave that with you because again, plants created or God created plants on the third day and he created us later, he created us on the sixth day. And so if you think about it, um, God loved us even before he created us because he created this plants that has the ability to produce this essential oils. And God knows that we would need all the support that we can get later. These essential oils have the ability to help us, you know, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, socially. And God knew what he was doing. And I love that idea. He loved us even before he created us because he you know, he, he already took care of us. It's right there. It's right there in the plants. And it is such a shame that, you know, that people, I blame it on the dark ages. You know, if you did the history of essential oils yesterday, I blame it on the dark ages, but I'm so glad that it's now being rediscovered. And by golly, I may not be able to change the world. I may not be able to shout to the whole world about essential oils, but my goodness, I can influence you guys. I can influence um, people that are listening to this, you know, to this event. And um, if you are not using essential oils that, man, you are missing out, please go to all of the videos of this um, event and just kind of you know just kind of learn and, and I my hope is that it would um, prompt you to research more to ask questions you know ask me and uh, I can guide you in using this oils my family we use these oils every day and throughout the day and um, just being being nourished look in the classroom <laughs> this is see our classroom can never be replicated by you know, by the school system, because this is our, this is like our power right here. We have brain power here. We have immune system power. We have, you know, anything, emotional power, anything they can think of, you know, I'm ready. This is right here on our, um, on our uh, classroom table, because, you know, we just want to be immersed in these essential oils. So, um, Thank you so much for joining me. Um, tomorrow, I'll be here again through Friday from um, 8.30 in the morning. I'm going to do a broadcast and then at 12.30. So never too late to invite your friends. Please, I want to share and minister to your friends and your family, you know, all over the world. You can, if they're your Facebook friend, you can add them to this private event. It's free and, and it's, it's amazing. We're just going to have all sorts of fun and so anyway don't forget to like this broadcast comment and tag five friends and I'd love to hear from you try to comment what you learned you know from from this and and, and how you know if there's something that's like oh I, I never I never knew that so um, comment that that would just bless me so much and um, um, and invite friends to the event page Um oh and so yesterday I announced that we're going to have, you know, on our, we're going to have a drawing at, on Friday. And yesterday I said that we're going to have lime essential oil. And so today I'm going to add this really cool recipe book and it's called Just Add Oils. And this is my heart <laughs> and my hard work. And um, when, um, when Axel, you know, when we found out Axel has autism, our doctor pretty much told us you have to detoxify your house. And um, detoxifying the house meant, you know, making our own household products and personal care products. So from, you know, shampoo, deodorant, soaps, you know, laundry detergent, household cleaners, we make our own stuff. And all of those recipes are here. So you can detoxify your whole house, you know, with this recipe book. I'm gonna include that with the lime oil and then tomorrow, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm gonna add another product, and then on Friday we're gonna we're gonna raffle. So every time you like and you comment, I am putting your name on um, on this drawing, you know, for this gift basket. All right. Um, <clears throat> okay. So um, oh, one more thing. <laughs> 
I want to tell you, um, for those of you, since we started the, since we started the, um, this, this um, essential oil boot camp, um, there are several of you that have asked about essential oils, that you're ready to get started. So I um, just want to tell you about the premium starter kit. This is the best way. This is the best way to start um, using essential oils is by buying a kit. It will come with 11 oils. I know there's just 10, but there's 11 oils. And later in our, later in the week, we're going to talk about each of the oils and what they can do. Um, <clears throat> and then um, it comes with a free diffuser. It comes with a free diffuser. Some people would get the kit just to get the diffuser and the frankincense oil, which is in here, or the pan away, which is a great oil for aches and discomfort. So, um, um, you know, I would put a link I'll put a link to invite you to kind of check into Young Living Essential Oils um, it is the best way it is the best way to get started it's the best value for your money is the only um, item in the Young Living website that's a half off and when you become a member um, and buy the premium starter kit you will be you know you will have 24% off you'll you'll get the all the other oils and all the other Young Living products at a wholesale discount so you know it's a no-brainer um, so um, it's as easy as going clicking on my um, link that I'm gonna post in a little bit and get started and get your kit and I am here you know to to guide you and your family in your essential oil journey and we do all sorts of classes here you know I, I have a private um, close group for um, just just for just me teaching every Monday, you know about essential oils. So anyway, if someone invited you to this group, they'll go back to them and you know go to them and say, hey, I'm ready to start essential oils. They'll be more than happy to to guide you on how to get started. Um, anyway, thank you guys. I will see you 8:30 tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.